Okay, so there have been a lot of requests lately about PSP emulators and how to get that fully running on um, Android and on Windows. And so this this is pretty much step by step how you get it done. So if you're on Windows, head over to this website in the description, ppsspporg slash downloadshtml And if you're on Android, uh, head up to your uh, App Store. And I'll just hit back. Yeah, there. So just search up PPSSPP. Now, by the way, this is just a, a emulator for Android on the PC, but this is what you do on your Android device. And then hit install here, and then let it run. If you're on Windows, just scroll down here and click download uh, 0.9.6 zip. There's also iOS, Blackberry, whatever, but I'm not going to get into it. If you're using those, you can try them out, but I'm not going to be supporting them. So now just open it up and uh extract to wherever you want it to be so i'll just extract it into my psp folder i made a folder called psp on my hard drive and let it run now basically you're going to go into uh emu paradise.me and the site so make sure you legally have the back this is just a backup site for uh, PSP ISO, so make sure you do have the legal copy of the game, but it's much easier if you just download it from Emu Paradise, and then head to PSP ISOs, right, and you can download whatever, just click one and click download, it's pretty straightforward, so uh, pretty much you're going to get files like this, so I've got Monster Hunter Freedom Unite and Patapon 3, so I'm gonna just gonna boot up Windows now. So I'll I'll go through the tutorial uh using Windows. Whoops. I'll go through the tutorial using Windows, but it will work exactly the same way on Android. So here's PP SSPP and you're gonna need to load an ISO file. It's gonna come up with all these things and you need to browse and find an ISO file. Now the thing that people always get mixed up with is that these are RAR files so what you actually need to do is for example here's part upon I'll just right click it and click extract here so this is what you do with your downloaded files and just let it extract now I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll resume it once the extraction is done because it's a next step okay so the extraction is done and now we get a folder called exactly the same thing you're gonna double click this folder and you're gonna find all these files here now this is perfectly normal what you need is to find the raw file at the end, the one that says B, Pata3, whatever it says, dot .rar. Uh, all the ones in the middle, just ignore them, but don't move them. Don't delete them, don't do anything to them. Do use it, Get this dot .rar file, right click this one, and hit extract here as well. And then go through the whole process again. And what's going to happen is you're going to observe uh, P, Pata3, U, dot .iso be unpacked from this raw file and that's the one that you need okay so once you've got this specific one that's the one you're gonna run on your PSP emulator so I'll just uh, open up PSP okay so now that's done I'm gonna open up the PSP emulator and I'll go to file and load and I'm just gonna find that file that's the one and I click open now on Android you you can browse through your thing you can save it wherever you want just make sure you browse through it and get it done so basically it's perfect uh, some s some tips for how to get the graphics better yeah okay so graphics here uh, when it says mode just hit it and go to non buffed rendering non-buffered rendering, it will make everything a lot clearer. Uh, for frame skipping you might want to put out auto and uh, make sure mip mapping is un mip mapping, mip mapping is unchecked and uh, vsync can be on if you're on PC but on Android it does not have this feature and make upscale two times and this will increase the graphic detail if you don't want it just un undo it and the game will run smoother so So you can pretty much just play the game. So it's it's making this frame skip thing right now. So I'm just gonna turn this off. Right. All right. So if you have that problem, go ahead. So that's pretty much 
they're all there is to it so and you can just play the game so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, and please like subscribe if it works for you and comment if you have any questions thank you